And now, Philadelphia's only primetime news hour. Honored by the Associated Press as the best newscast in Pennsylvania, the Fox 10 o'clock news. Good evening, I'm Jan Fisher. And I'm Joyce Evans, and here's what's happening tonight. West winds to kick into Oklahoma City and kind of mess up that golf game, as you saw there. What you're seeing back here, the front is past. Behind that drier air and cooler air as well, kind of settling in. Uh, not a whole lot cooler, but at least a little bit drier. That's the cold front, the leading edge of that air. Ahead of it, still the stormy spots through here. Fairly juicy air, high dew points, we call that. And a lot of moisture content to the air. The front moving in, acting as a scooping mechanism to come in and lift up that moisture. That's why we're seeing the storms erupting in the, the warm sector here ahead of the cold front. It's pushing on in. I talked about dew points. This is uh, the best direct measurement of uh, what happened. That's what's causing uh, the situation to be a drier, a little bit better, too. Let's talk about high pressure still in control across eastern New England and stretching back into eastern New York State. But you don't have to look too much farther to the west and to the south to start seeing that precipitation. Already starting to see some snow on the leading edge of this. And as it penetrates further into the colder air, We'll start seeing more snow out. Winter weather advisories in effect for northeastern Pennsylvania. Philadelphia might start briefly as snow, but change over to rain fairly quickly. But as you head up into the Poconos, you have a better chance of snow. Same thing as you head into, especially in uh, north or northern uh, suburbs of New York City, heading up into Westchester County and heading up the Hudson River Valley, you'll be seeing some snow. And uh, the city, though, will probably be seeing maybe a little bit before it changes over to rainfall. Okay, as far as temperatures go, right now 26 in Boston, right at the freezing mark in both New York and Philadelphia. Albany joining you there. Burlington, Vermont, 25 degrees. Now, as we uh, move to the south, though, much warmer. How do you feel like it overnight tonight? Let's check out the Almanac page and get right to the forecast. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. 43 degrees, the high this afternoon, 6 degrees below normal, 28 this morning. Normal low 31, record high 73 back in 86, and the record low 7 degrees. Sunrise tomorrow 621, sunset 602. Temperature right now, Philadelphia at the freezing mark. Very important at this moment. Humidity at 72%, barometer falling. Winds out of the south at around 7 miles an hour. Here are the weather headlines for tomorrow morning. Sloppy rush hour. We've got a quick moving system actually moving in a little faster than we thought. Uh, last night at this hour, we were thinking after midnight, but some of this stuff starting to get in here early. So maybe a mix north of the city tomorrow. And if you are a skier, check it out. Pocono's getting a fresh two to three, maybe four inches of snow overnight tonight. Spring, well, not here yet. And you'll see in the extended forecast in a few minutes, it is going to get colder towards the middle part of the week. But let's get to the issue at hand, which is the weather conditions right now. Temperatures at or just below freezing. Very important here, 32 Reading. 33 Wilmington, you're about to get into some snow and sleet. We have some cold air that's hangy and tough here, and the precipitation got here a little quicker before allowing the temperature to rise, so we're seeing a little batch of precip moving into the area. The wind also a problem tonight. Look at the windshield, Reading 9 degrees. Last night it was at 7, Trenton at 22, Wilmington 19, and Atlantic City at 29. Now, here's the satellite. We had clear skies today, just a gorgeous afternoon, a little on the cool side, but not bad. Clouds continue to move on in. This is a quick moving system. This is actually a cool front right, uh, right through here in New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio, and that'll continue to push our way. In front of it, there's some warm air. It's already in the 40s in Pittsburgh, 45 and some light rain. So this warm air eventually will move in, then the cool air back behind it. The problem is that warm air has not moved in yet. We're still holding in the low 30s. Now this batch right here, right in this area, this is some snow and sleet. Look at this gap right in this region, right in here in West Virginia. This is the warmer air, so we get this quick batch of sleet and snow. Then we get into this rain pattern right here into the early morning hours. So drive time, not a big problem. Next few hours, maybe in some areas, especially the overpasses right here in Philadelphia. We'll take you closer and we'll show you what we're talking about. Again, here's this batch. Baltimore had some sleet. Now it's moving in our direction. There's Wilmington. There's Philadelphia. This band right in here will start to move through here in the next few hours. Again half inch, inch or so, especially north and west of Philly, down to the south, maybe just a quick shot of sleet and then changing over to rain. Once this moves through, again, back behind it, you see near Washington, it starts to dry out and then we'll rise in the 30s and get some rain for the morning hours. So here's the map as it sets up, sets up here. Overnight tonight, again, there's the mixture starting to make its way through as the warm front collides with the cold air. Tomorrow morning, there's the cold front and then it changes to rain in this warm sector we were showing you. Look at this by tomorrow afternoon. Not bad. Partly sunny skies develop and temperatures at around 50 degrees. So overall, it does improve by the afternoon. So let's look at the forecast again. Overnight tonight, a brief period of snow and sleet. You folks down to the south, maybe a half inch. Philly, maybe an inch. North and west, an inch, inch and a half. Slushy snow. It changes over to rain by morning for everybody. 34. 
By tomorrow, we look at temperatures at 49 degrees clearing in the afternoon. Tomorrow night, generally fair skies, mid-30s. Poconos and shore, again, the Poconos looking real good. Couple of inches there, the shore mainly rain. Extended forecast into the work week. No precip. After tomorrow morning, we stay dry through most of the week. We cool off Wednesday, but then we start to turn the corner Thursday and Friday, rising through the 40s and 50s. So the next three hours, the most critical, a little bit of snow, but should be okay for the drive time. Old man winter's just not giving Not yet. Not yet.